we've always had that kind of color on the field, but now U.S. are giving us something on the field to watch as well. Another kick is exactly what we're going to do. Exactly. So really clear, control the game these next 30 seconds. The Simbian comes back on. Masso and Ben will make the changes. The defense condensed towards the off post. The attack decides to be like calls. So he's just on this best kick off now. Try Try come in and play with me. Mitch, you're yeah. covering the whole background on your own. Try Try towel. Yes, there yes. <laughs> All right. You don't see the microphones and our lips don't move, but I'm Bill, he's Gareth, and away we go. Go get him, Wally. You found <laughs> yep. Getting ready for the second half of this plate semifinal showdown between France and England. France. Ready to go, Gareth, uh, France and England. Second half underway. Clear as day from Coach Simon Amor. England must continue to attack. It helps that uh, James Rodwell is 6'5 and then gets a, a lift. I'm not no. sure how high that puts him in the air, but it's yeah. pretty good. Unnecessary whistle there from O'Brien. England had possession. But they will use it wisely to let some time. You see that yellow bar above the England on your screen? That is the Sinbin for break. So this will now allow some time to go off the clock. Just over 30 seconds into the second half. Stefan Perez. And John Brake returns to the fray. Warwick Lamarck to toss. His team holding a seven point lead at this juncture. And England. Lamarck. to Alex Gray, the former under-20 captain. Mitchell, turning it on and finds Jeff Williams. Williams says, double down. Jeff's gonna wait a while. Okay. I'd like my cards, please. Incisive stuff. Tom Mitchell, we said he's the playmaker. Sort of backs himself for a couple of strides. Watch here as he goes through and then knows the big man is coming. Jeff Williams, the South African, his dad's English. You know what? I hammered you, and my apologies. Charlie Hader. You my can mistake. hate me, but don't <laughs> hate Hader. Don't hate the Hader. The Waspy man, but great line of run from him. He knows that if he hangs around Mitchell, he's going to get something, and that was a sweet offload from Captain Tom Mitchell. I thought it was Williams for a sec, but I guess, you know what? Need a little more just for men on the beard. Williams' beard. A so, little darker. Sunday and he wears in, one instead of two. It's Sunday morning in Vegas. Yeah, I'll, I'll There's yeah, forgiveness. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of forgiveness. 19-5, England. <laughs> Up high and contested well by uh, England, but taken by France. Oh, the lonesome end. It's uh, Reno Del Mas. The ball's out. Bowen's trying to play it, and Bowen has it. <laughs> Tenacious Tommy. There is Williams wearing the one for England. You know, if you just keep saying things long enough, you'll be right. It takes a while. Bowen took a look at uh, Del Mas. Slow to get up was the captain, Mitchell. Rodwell gets spun around. Bowen goes in, off to Williams. Alex Davis, the cricketeer, down on the ground. Break to Mitchell. A chip to himself. Tommy, put it down. Well, there's hugs all around, but we'll see what referee O'Brien has to say. Not sure. Yeah. So the referee video review, the RBR. Matt O'Brien going to take a look, and Mitchell. I think you may want to see another angle. Here it is. Great work from the crew. Does he get his hand on the ball without knocking it on? Clearly no from there. Let's see if the ref sees the same thing. Knock on and go. No try. 
Excellent look at time. that one and uh, give some credit. I, I believe that was Del Moss. The ability to yeah. deflect the hand and then get a little leg on the ball. Well, interesting development on the HSBC Sevens World Series. Last year, you'd have only had one look at that, and that would have been the first one, which was a lot less conclusive. But the second view provided by our crew was, was clear as day. Come on. Makes it a lot easier and makes the chances of getting it right increase dramatically. We do only use that technology on in goal, on try scoring plays. Yeah. We're not standing around the rest of the field <laughs> looking at knock-ons and other stuff. Point. Sit. Coming out of its own end is France and heading back to make the grab into the game, uh, Christian Lewis Pratt. Lemert to Bowen. Bowen knows what his job is on this team. He's to attract all those French defenders. And then the ball can be shipped away. On the right side. Punch forward. Uh -oh. And just not able to make the connection. Alex Davis was hoping that one would sit up and stay in bounds, but it didn't. France wanted to go quick. Got ourselves a substitution on the English side, Richard de Carpentier, or Chippy, <laughs> as his uh, mates like to call him. This is, of course, the plate, the semifinal. So the score holds. England will go forward, and France will be done for the day. Williams made a grab at it there, but the whistle prior with the knock on and the scrum to France. Also coming in now is Jean-Baptiste Gobelet in the 11 and wearing the 10, Julien Candelon. He's the mark guys on the 15 meter line. 19 to five with just over two minutes to go in this plate semifinal. Come on. France and England. At Vegas last year, France lost the plate semifinal to England. And then England went on to win the plate final over Australia. Julian Candelon across the 22, taken down, and Boutin spins it out of there. Gobele, Lacafia. And they look to come back the other way. Great taking away the midfield there for the long pass. Candelon. A bit of slippage. Oh. Thought about kicking, and away he goes. Julian Candelon. The candle is extinguished. Just past the halfway. Uh, Not sure what the call was there. Got to be up on his feet to be in the contest, I what guess. So it'll be England coming back this way, and checking in for England is the number seven, James Stevenson. James Stevenson listed at 5'8 and a buck 77. Take another look, Candelone. He, he certainly fooled me because I would have gone, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be Charlie Charge down. And uh, that's a veteran showing some skills. Anyway, Stevenson at 5'8 and a buck 77. But when you stretch out his arms, his wingspan is 6'2. He comes on for Rodwell, who was a big presence last week, made the dream team in Wellington. Didn't quite have the same impact up here in Vegas, and I think that's been one of the reasons why England are on this side of the draw and not up, fighting for a final position like they had last week. He made that dream team at Wellington, and he grabbed almost every ball in the air yep. in, in the first uh, three or four games, but then it really slowed down after that. Oh, nice. Leaves one for Stevenson, and the big wingspan going to land it in goal. See, now I'm looking at his arms the whole time. They are kind of long. I guess when you go out the back door with that kind of wingspan, beautiful pass. Threaded the needle between the two French defenders and watch how he goes under the arm. Candelon is coming across. Just textbook stuff. He had a try in his debut at Wellington. 
playing for the uh, Worcester Warriors is James Stevenson. 26 5 England with a victory over France in the plate semifinal.